these fifteen hundred dollar hams. Where's your donkey? I've got it. <laughs> no, I've, got, donkey? I've got him up out there. <laughs> no, you left out one thing. Uh oh, what did I leave out? You gotta put your hand down and make sure. Oh yes, sir. Make sure you gotta add on the bottom, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Good. Put it on cracker. It's time for Down Home in the Tri-States with your host, Ron Jones. Good morning. How y'all doing? Glad to have you with us on Down Home in the Tri-States. I'm Ron Jones, and we're on every Saturday morning at 530 right here on News 13 WMBB and Maine Davis over in Pasta Leon. Boy, congratulations, Maine Davis. He can now watch the show again. He's been having Down Home in the Tri-States withdrawals for, gosh, I guess a couple of years now. Uh, they did away with it. He had a, he didn't have that high def stuff and everything, so he he didn't have a signal. He couldn't watch it anymore. He'd been going crazy over there. But he told me, he called me and said they finally got cable and uh, he's able to watch. He watched it last week for the first time, and so I want to. And he got him a got him a new leg too. Maine's uh, Maine's lost his part of his leg and to diabetes, and uh, but he's uh, he got him a new leg and the uh, other one he said had the original one. He said he. He wore it all day, and he said when he took it off, he had a big old blood blister on his leg, and he went through all kind of stuff with that. But he said that, uh, but this one is brand new; it's made out of a, it's a suction or something. He said, but anyway, congratulations, Maine Davis, and I'm so sure glad that Maine gave me a lot of old tools and things. Y'all saw that old toaster sitting over there somewhere. But anyway, Sandra Young called in. She said that, uh, a couple of things. She said that uh, she said you need to tell people about Angel's got takeout up there. She said I didn't know that. She said I'm glad to hear that. So, so we're gonna start taking stuff out. We like to go get it, take it home, and watch TV and stuff while we're eating. She said, "You need to tell everybody that they got takeout." So they got takeout at Angels. I'm sorry I never told that to y'all, but uh, if y'all want to just, uh, you can call ahead too. Call ahead and uh, t tell her what you want. Ask her what's on the buffet. Tell her what you want, and it'll be there ready for you when you get there. All you gotta do is pick it up and pay for it, and uh, you're on your way. We told you about Maine, the tires. That number, I think I gave it to you, is 836-8888, 836-8888. Uh, also, Sandra Young told me that she got her prints back. Remember the print that we gave away or auctioned off <coughs> Excuse me, at the Possum Festival? The eagle getting the possum? Uh, well, she's had some smaller prints made on tin, and uh, they're gonna, those are going to be available for purchase to help out with, uh, with Angel's uh, uh, the youth ministry kids home that they're trying to get that thing finished and uh, uh, so we're going to be offering those we'll tell you a little bit later on how we're going to do that uh, I got to get over there and pick them up uh, I may have already gone by the time you see this but and uh, also I think that's about it today uh, Alto and Richard from Cotton Hill catching some huge huge pretty channel kit up there this time and uh, we're going to have part two of that on so y'all be sure to watch also Richard morning and uh Surplus Savage wanted me to remind you about these uh, bee holder things. I think Eric Tuesday was making some of these at one time. I don't know if he still is or not, but uh, Richard makes these, and they're going to be at, available at Surplus Salvage uh, beginning the 1st of March, I think he said. So uh, if you all need one, it's got a little hook there right there. It's got another hook in here that you can screw in the wood and just hang it on there like that. And those are uh, going to be available March 1st at Surplus and Salvage. Y'all can check that out. That's it. I believe we'll be back with the mint with the drawing. Y'all stay with us. Down home in the tri states I'm Ron Jones, and y'all watch this. For the best down home country cooking in this area, it's Angel's Buffet and Catering in Chipley, Florida, on Highway 77 across from Tractor Supply. You see, when people leave, they always say, I'll be back. Once you bite into that country fried chicken, you know, like your mamas and your grandmas, you just can't stand not to come back. Open Tuesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. till close. The biggest buffet is on Sunday, features eight meats and 12 vegetables, but they got a fantastic buffet all during the week. Hey, hello, Ron sent you. Across from Tractor Supply, Supply Chipley, Florida, rated the number one restaurant in Chipley by TripAdvisor. And that's big, folks. Everything you said it was. And don't forget, Angels has takeout available and you can call ahead. To my best friend, thank you for helping me catch all the big ones in my rhino boat. Remember that big one that got away? That'd have been a world record. It ain't every day you find friends that still like to do things the old-fashioned way. Well, I've had some ups and downs in them 10-foot swells. Me and my QS, we kept on a-going. I remember my first rhino 30 years ago and all the motor service for 20 years before that. I sure do want to see that fancy hydro port steering thing. That brand new deck boat with that diving thing on top, boy, that show is pretty. Thank you, Joe's Motor Service. May we be best friends forever, period.
Pretty good one here, I believe. He just got on there. I'm going to have to have a net on him. I do believe. I don't even have it out. I got it, out, got it back there in the back. I just don't believe I can get this one in. He is a gooder. I got to have that net. A big catfish. They show sure white this time of year. I don't know why. He's talking to you. He swallowed that and way down there. I got five in there now. That was a good catfish. And I got another one right out here. I just turned right around and Looked out here and he's he's just taking off. I think he's gonna be a good one too. We might have a fish fry for we'll throw with hush puppies with some onions. Marcy don't like onions. We'll have some hush puppies, coleslaw, cheese grits, tater tarts. I don't know what all we'll have. We're gonna have something. Jerry and Foxworth and Troy's up here. And James Barnes was, I think he left this morning. He wanted to go home for the rain. But here's that fish. He's going about as fast as my scooter motor to pull my boat. Yeah, he's going to be another good one. He just got off. He got off. Well, we don't want them all. Just a few. This is another good one coming up right here. I seen him when he hit it. He stayed under. He carried under probably... 20, 30 feet. And I got another behind me back there going. But I, I can't work both of them at the same time. These are nice fish out here in this, in this area. I just lost that, that real good one, you know. See, he's gone now. I don't worry, I don't worry which way he went. There he is. Now he's going back the other way. Let's 
see if I can't reach over and get He got, he, he, he got off too. He got, no, he broke my hook. Broke my line. Well, this is that second one. I told you I had two on there. And, of course, that one broke my line. Man, I don't know what this is. Unless he's hung up on something down there. Good guys. Yeah, he was hung up on something. I think I still got him, dude. Yeah. I got him. He went under something. Yeah, there's the limb he broke off. Well, he's not all that big, but he'll eat. Get out there, whatever we can see you. Quit hiding you. Quit, hide, quit hiding your face in there. My goodness, what a mouth. But they don't like a big bait. Just a small piece. <coughs> I put it in there. Put the outboard in gear. He won't take off. Come here, buddy. Whoa. Whoa now. Whoa now. Whoa. 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 That's a fine fish. He wanted to talk to. He get the hook out. Is that what you say? It's official. Surplus Salvage in Shipley, Florida is the people's choice for a quality metal roofing at the best and lowest possible price. Why? Because you don't have to wait weeks to get your metal roofing and get to work on your project. It's all made on the spot while you wait. And Surplus Salvage of Chipley can provide the best selection of colors. Ten colors available at a low dollar eighty nine a foot. Galvaloom a low dollar thirty a foot. You heard me right on these prices. Stop in. Tell them how much and what length. Load it up and folks, you're on your way. Why wait two or three weeks when you can drive off with it the day you come in. Do business with the people's choice. Surplus Salvage of Chipley. Tell them Ron sent you. We'll appreciate it. 638-7353. King's Discount Drugs and King's Outdoors in Chipley, Florida has always been Northwest Florida's top choice for prescriptions, outdoor sporting equipment, and special gifts and jewelry. For over 38 years, people have trusted and relied on King's Drugs for friendly, hometown personal service. King's Outdoors has served the hunting, fishing, and sporting needs for outdoorsmen and women throughout Northwest Florida. Ladies, for all your shooting needs or for just protection, King's Outdoors offers special service to help you with your needs. Come see the entire friendly staff at King's Drugs and King's Outdoors on Highway 77 in Chipley, Florida. Here at King's Discount Drugstore, we'll work hard to earn your business and keep your business. Y'all come, come see, see us. Have you got water problems? Pump won't pump. Do you need answers and solutions, but you don't want the runaround and you want someone honest? Well, have no fear, folks. Do what I did. Call the man, Water Dan. Dan Dubosel, take care of your problem. Hello, folks. This is Water Dan. I work on submersible pumps, jet pumps, do repairs and upgrades, anything to do with an existing water well. I would appreciate it if you call. Call the man, Water Dan. He'll take care of your water problems. 850-535-9308. 535-9308. Folks, you know why people from Washington, Jackson, Holmes, Bay County, you know why they call Water Dan? Because Dan Dubos knows what he's doing. Y'all give him a call. Year after year, Water Dan is the most preferred water well service company in this area. Give him a call. 
Now Morris at Easy Care Tree and Lawn Service says if you've got trees, bring them on. No job is too big or too small for Easy Care Lawn and Tractor. Just tell Dow where you want it and he'll put it on the ground, cut it up, and haul it off and leave the area nice and clean. Too many of these services come and go, but Easy Care Tree and Lawn Service will be here for you, the customer. Dow and Tabitha employ only the highly trained and qualified personnel to get the job done right. And hey, if you're in need of firewood at a reasonable price, Easy Care has quality oak and pecan. Give Dow and Tabitha a call today because they are looking out for you. 850-527-6291. Man, he went way under there. There he is. I can't play with him too much. Don't look like he's hooked too good. Where'd you go, buddy? I got him. He just fell off. But one thing about it, he's in the net and on the boat. Fixing to be in that cooler right there. That's what we come after today. Uh, just a few more we'll have. Our cooler's full and probably have enough for a day, but I'm gonna rebate these five foot ones here. Once I get them all gathered up, I still like about 10 more getting them up. And they they all may have fish on them. I see one out there already standing up. And where the rest of them is, I don't know, they're all around the corner somewhere. But I'm gonna go get that one. Once I get them all in, I'm gonna turn around and rebate them. I just took a real big one off of Richard's. One of his noodles he'd lost. I didn't have my camera out to film him, but it's a big old blue cat. I'll, I'll show him to you, but I got one right here. I had lost two, and this is one of them. And Richard's way off out there with the other one. He said, that's a big one out there too. So I'm gonna get this one, and then we'll go out there and see what he got. I threw my five foot one back out down yard. I, I caught about eight more after I turned it off a while ago. It started raining and I, I couldn't film no more. Yeah, this is a good one. Ooh. Come back here, back. He's going under the boat. Let's see if I can't hang that right there. See if I can hang it right there and maybe I can get a hold of the line. I got one of Richard's noodles just tied up in my net there. So I'm gonna have to net him with that in there because I ain't gonna take time to take it out right now. That ought to be something we can do when we sit down. This, this is a good one though. See if I can get this. My land, this is a nice fish. I don't see him right there. That's the biggest one I've got yet. I sure hope we don't lose him, but you know, you can't ever tell. Like I say, we don't want all of them. Just a few. Let's see if I can do this with Richard Noodle in there. Oh, yeah. That's about the size of one I got. I, I call Richard.
Richard talking to me on the radio, but I can't I can't do anything with him right now. We got other we got other things to do. I think he's 15 or 20 pounds, maybe 30 pounds. Yeah, I throwed them noodles out right out there. John, this Richard's way off out there for one of mine going out out there. We're on the way out here to see what it is. He said it could be a big old turtle, but I don't think so. I don't catch turtles. He's the one that catches turtles. I think we've had a pretty good productive day. And I don't know what time it is, probably about 12 o'clock. I'm gonna, uh, let me show you the one I caught Richard while ago. Ain't getting more than alive, well. My big motor is idling speed and I can't, I can't only keep up with him with his eye. My big motor is idling. Old Richard said he got his big motor idling and he can't sail with that fish. Or ever what it is. We have caught some of these young carp out here. Real big carp. So if we turn them loose, we, uh, we, don't, we don't keep none of them. Cause they, they're, they're put here to eat this grass. He ought to be back to I think he's over here. Well, he shouldn't have a whole lot of fat left in him. Folks, you've heard me talk a lot about fresh local vegetables, fruit, smoked meat, fresh locally, only the best green peanuts, local honey, local milk, local ice cream, local top quality, only the best hay, livestock, and pet feed at Main Street Market at the corner of Highway 90 and 77 in Chiplet. Well, there's a reason for that. You see, Paul Davidson, owner of Main Street Market, pays top dollar to get only the best for his customers because he knows to keep a good customer, you got to treat them right. And you can't do that by buying merchandise at low prices like these big stores just to save money. Main Street Market. Not big, just better. If the sign doesn't say Main Street Market, you're at the wrong place. Tell them Ron sent you folks and we certainly would appreciate it. Hi, this is the biggest catfish I ever caught. 